so now again i am explaining if the price of a commodity increases by some percentages some percentage then definitely there will be a reduction in consumption and that yes. reduction in consumption is done by how much percent r by 100 by 100 into 100 the whole percent so yes, the reduction is done by this much percent so uh, so not to increase the expenditure okay okay sir next point so as not to increase expenditure now we'll go with the same uh, same kind of concept but with a different formula so write down if this formulas are important you should remember and revise this formulas you should read this formulas and you should apply this formula yes sir yes sir. Yeah. if the price of the commodity if the price of a commodity decreases by r percent in previous case the price of the commodity increased by some percent now in this case it is decreasing by some percent and you know the general trend in the market is whenever the price of a commodity commodity decreases the consumption increases am i right yes sir yes. so if the price of a commodity decreases by r percent then d the, then the increase in consumption so as not to decrease yes i'm sorry So, if the price of a commodity decreases by R percent, in the increase in consumption, so as not to decrease the expenditure. That means here we are trying to increase the expenditure. Okay, sir. Decrease the expenditure is by how much percent? R by hundred minus R into hundred the whole percent. So. if the price of a commodity decreases by r percent then the increase in consumption is by this much percent r by 100 minus r into 100 percent why this much percent we are increasing our consumption by this much percent that you want to decrease your expenditure okay yes sir why because you want to purchase at cheaper rate so that your expenditure will be less am i right yes sir yeah so the two formulas again we will just revise so when the price of a commodity increases you will reduce your consumption and you will try to decrease your uh, you will try to decrease your expenditure or you see that it does not increase so how much percent by 100 plus to 100 and when the reverse happens the price of a commodity decreases definitely your consumption increases okay consumption increases and your expenditure also increases by how much percent r by 100 minus 100 into 100 whole percent so in the previous case the expenditure uh, like uh, uh, you you effectively try to decrease your expenditure here you want to increase your expenditure there you want to decrease your expenditure because the price of the commodity has risen by r percent here you want to decrease here you want to increase your expenditure why because your price of the commodity has decreased by r percent okay yes so sir so that is law of demand concept okay sir have you seen the formulas yes so sir go for the next formula write down see suppose uh, uh i'm just writing some points i think you I know think the concept of compounding or discounting so see what is compounding and discounting first one compounding and then it is discounting so what is compounding and discounting suppose uh, your uh, mom gave you
Suppose your mom gave you money of one and she asked you to deposit this uh, in the bank. Okay. And bank is giving you 10% interest. So you know at the end of the year you will be having 1 lakh 10,000. How? This is because of the compounding effect. So we will say Z value is 1 lakh. Okay, future value is 1 lakh 10,000. So how you got this? Future value is equal to present value to 1 plus R whole power N. So what is this R? The rate of interest. Of interest. And N is number of years. So this is what is happening here. This is compounding. What is this? Why it is compounding? Same concept will be done in the compound interest chapter also. Yes, Why it is compounding? Because it is multiplying. When things multiply, they grow or they increase. When, the, when things divide, they decrease or they get discounted. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you are multiplying, that is when you are multiplying present value, which is 1 lakh into 1 plus, the rate of interest is 0 0.10 whole power 1, you will get 1 lakh 10,000. Okay, that is compounding. So if it is like for one year, it is one. If it is for two years, it is two. If it is three years, it is three. So like that, it grows. In the same way, now see this particular equation. Now what I'll do is, I found out the, the future value right now. Okay, I found out the future value. Because future value is present value into, into one plus one whole power n. Now, if I want to find out the present value, so I will divide this one plus r whole power n with the future value. So, present value is equal to future value by one plus r whole power n. So, this is called discounting. Why? Because I am dividing here. What am I doing? Dividing. Yeah, when you divide, the value decreases. That's called discounting. So how it happens, you can see. So what is the future value you had? One lakh ten thousand. Am I right? Yes, sir. Divide by one plus zero point one zero four power one. So the answer ultimately you get is one lakh. Okay. Got my point? Yes, yes sir. Now next point. So with the same concept, with the same concept I will apply here and show you how it goes. Results on population. So, right on the bottom. So, whenever you will be given a problem related to population, okay, you will be giving multiple, you will be given multiple problems and different, different or multiple types of problems. Like uh, some of the problems would be like, they will be giving you a population of a town and they will be saying that it grew by some percentage. So, they will ask you like, what is the population going to be after 5 years or 6 years? Okay. So, in that point of time, or they'll give you like in, after 10 years the population is going to be some some particular figure what is the present population going to be so in these both cases you can apply the concept of compounding and discounting okay so to find out the future population you need to do compounding for finding out the present population when future population is given you want to you need to do the discounting okay so yes, i want to explain to you what is compounding and discounting in case of compounding, you multiply. In case of discounting, you divide. See what I've done. In case of compounding, I've multiplied. And in case of discounting, I've divided. Okay? Now, next point. 
See, the same thing I'll put in the form of in terms of answer you ask for. Let the population of a town BP. Now R percent per annum. Then, so let the population of a town be P now and suppose it increases at the rate of R percent per annum. Then, first point population after n years is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n. Next, population n years ago. So here see, after n years, compounding concept. Because after any years, the population is going to grow. Am I right? Yes, sir. So this particular P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N, the formula I have applied. P into 1 plus R by 100. In my concept, I used 0 0.10. 0 0.10 is nothing but R by 100. That is 10 by 100 is 0 0.10. So you can write in this way also. And N this way. P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. Or R percent also you can write. If it is N years ago, so you need to discount. That means you will be given the future value, you need to discount. So you will be given the future population. I will write here present population. I will write here future population for a better clarity. I am just giving you the concept how this formula came. Yes, sir. So, not all the formulas uh, derivation is important for you because they won't ask any derivation in the exam. They just want the application and time saving. That's it. 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. Okay. Just check it out. Let's go for the next concept. Then. Shall we go for the next formula? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, before going to the next formula, I need to give you some questions. Okay, no, I'll just finish the formula. Write right on the next concept. Results on depreciation. So first of all, you should know what is the concept of depreciation. Depreciation is nothing but the, the, the decrease in the value of asset. For example, you take a machinery for 1 lakh today. After 10 years, is it going to be 1 lakh the same or it's going to be some uh, 10 or 20,000? It's going to be of value of 10 or 20,000. Why? Because of this particular concept called depreciation. But what is this exactly? See, after 10 years, the technology is going to change. People do, uh, will be reluctant to use the old uh, uh, machinery which, which was taken 10 years back. And the old machinery will not be giving you a very effective uh, service which it used to give, uh, which it used to give uh, like a uh, long time back. Okay, for example, so for example, five years ago, I purchased a phone called Samsung Grand. So, can you expect me to use the same Samsung Grand today? No. Uh, sir. Samsung Grand had a normal uh, megapixel camera. Now we have 48 megapixel, 64 megapixel, and uh, like the particular processors, 
and the particular cam clarity and the particular display, everything has changed drastically. No one would go for old technology. That's a scrap now. Yes, sir. So if someone will ask you, अरे भाई आप सैमसंग ब्रांड का फोन लेते क्या यूज से मेरे को जीरो रुपीज भी जीरो रुपीज देते ही तो भी नहीं लेता मैं बेस्ट है क्योंकि वो टेक्नोलॉजी आउटडेट हो गया नाउ फाइव जी का टेक्नोलॉजी है यू विल नॉट यूज द ओल्ड लाइक स्क्रैप फोन और आउटडेटेड मॉडल है राइट सो दैट इज बिकॉज सो हियर वॉट द कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर्म इज देर इज अ डिप्रीसिएशन ऑफ हंड्रेड परसेंट इन दैमसंग ग्रैंड मॉडल वाई बिकॉज अब वो वेस्ट और स्क्रैप हो चुका है डिप्रीसिएशन फॉर्म Let the present value of a machine. Generally, we see this in the in the case of machine BP. Full stop. Suppose it depreciates at the rate of R percent per annum. So it is depreciating its same. So okay, it is then then. then first one value of the machine after n years is equal to p into 1 minus 500 whole by by minus because here it is not the rate at which the machine value will increase It is the rate at which the machine value is hundred percent going to decrease. Okay, even after n years, or if after n years value is given to to today, we are going to see in the terms of decrease, not in terms of increase, because this is no profit. This is a loss. Depreciation is a loss in the value of machinery. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now value. It's a loss in the value of machinery. Value of the machine. I think both of you are able to follow very properly. Yes, sir. That's great. Thank you. Ten years ago is equal to P by one minus R by hundred whole power n. Next point. Just take this formula. I'll go for that. Last form. <coughs> CS. 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 Foundation. Registration. Have you finished? Yes, sir. लिख लिए या लिख रहे हो? हो गया सर. Done, sir. Okay. Last set of problems. Now uh, you may be seeing some instances whereby somewhat would be better than uh, other person. Okay. So, uh, so suppose if I say this point, if A is R percent more than B in terms of weight, in terms of height, in terms of performance, in terms of marks, anything. Then B is B should be less than A by how much percent? Will be is less than A by R by. Hundred plus R into hundred the full. 
So if, if A is R percent more than B, then B is less than by this first person. Same we'll see here. If A is R percent less than B, then definitely B would be more. Then B is more than A by R by 100 minus R into 100 A. Right on the form. Now don't go for the derivation and all those things for these forms. Yes, just remember. Because yes, it sir. is of no use for you to learn the derivations. Okay. Okay, sir. So, if you have your whole formless, then you can refer to 5 minutes in formless. Ko refer kar lo, then I'll give you some 10 questions. Wo okay? Okay, sir. Okay, dear. 5 minutes, lelo, I'm giving you 5 minutes time. Chalo. I'll call you back. Okay, bye.